Hello everyone, Rodney Dangerfield Cousin come to you live via webcam from my parody entertainment show. And George Zimmerman, along with his wife, Shelly N. Zimmerman, and uh, Trayvon Martin, Trayvon Martin's mother and daddy, and his attorney, Mark O'Mara. <laughs> They're all on my show today, and um, Trayvon, uh, George Zebberman's wife, Shelly Zebberman, uh, she is accused of lying at uh, his George Zebberman's bond hearing, and his bond was revoked, and the jailhouse tapes have been released to the media from the jailhouse that um, they have allegedly were talking in a code about how much money his website has raised. And um, now you're going to hear the rest of the story after I tell you my disclaimer. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and everything in my parody entertainment show is a parody. Do not take anything I say seriously. Do not take anything I say personally. Do not try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney person and still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say and everything in my parody entertainment show is science fiction. It's all make-believe and my whole show is for entertainment purposes only and everything I say cannot be verified. If for some reason you disagree with my disclaimer right now is the time to get your happy ass off my channel out immediately. I don't want you to hear a thing I gotta say and my whole entertainment parody show. Now that's your final notice. Now let's get back to this George Zimmerman and his wife. He was allegedly telling his wife to get it by a bulletproof vest for him and her and their attorney. And um, I, I believe George Zimmerman is being railroaded by the white devil. Uh, the, the police are supposed to prove that a person is innocent as well as guilty. And I believe that George Zimmerman is as innocent as they come. And I believe that Trayvon Martin was a gang member I've interviewed some a girl that knew him in Florida. She said that he had gold gang, gang member teeth. He probably had $25,000, $40,000 worth of gold in his mouth. It might not have been real gold. It might have been this pot metal that a dentist had put in somebody's mouth. But um, anyways, this Trayvon Martin, he had gang member teeth. And, um, you know, the black people always saying, George Emmer would say, there's a coon up in hell. There's a coon, there's a coon up in here. Well, all, all black people, all of them, use a racial slur. The, um, instead of the racial slur that they use, I'm going to use the word nincompoop. And uh, they all call each other a nincompoop, and that they say they can do that, and they call each other a boy. And, um, you know, years ago, there was two words that black people would forbid white people to say, a boy and a nincompoop. Now, it's them grew up to like a hundred words. They'll kill a white person if a white person says, you're president, y'all, us, them, dude, Buddy, chicken, watermelon, cantaloupe, there's burnt toast, there's, there's a lot of words that they'll, they'll tell. We, Dr. Martin Luther King said, I've seen the promised land, and we, as a people, will get to the promised land. And uh, your president said, yes, we can. Yes, we can. When they say we, they say they know how to say we. I was attacked by a black man at the casino 
four or five months ago because I said, y'all. And he said, man, you disrespected me. You disrespected me. And you said, y'all. I said, uh, he said, he'd kick my ass if I said it again. I said, who appointed you as an authority over me? He said, myself. I said, oh, you're self-appointed. He said, yeah. And uh, they called the floor. And they said, Rodney Dangerfield Cousin, your your rights said, get out of here, get out of here. They didn't even hear the story as a white man at the casino. <laughs> he didn't even hear the story. They said I was racist. Some black people told him I was racist. I went back later and I had a long talk with him. I said, look, black people know nothing about being politically correct. I know a lot about being politically correct, and uh, they don't have to know anything about being politically correct because it don't apply to them. They can say anything, and they don't know nothing about it. Now, this Trayvon Martin, I think George Zimmerman, number one, he needs to get a new attorney. That attorney he got so far, he's done a terrible job representing George Zimmerman. Uh, he should have never put George Zimmerman on the stand or his wife. The Attorney General's office one time subpoenaed me to the Attorney General's office for a deposition and I'm about a business that I didn't own. I had nothing to do with it. I knew the person that owned the business, but they, they, uh, they subpoenaed me down there to the Attorney General's office and started asking me this, that, and the other, and I said, I refuse to answer on the grounds I might incriminate myself. And, uh, you know, if I could have, if I could have reversed it on that woman prosecutor that was asking me questions, I would ask her, uh, you know, like, uh, you're targeting me for some reason or other. You have a hatred towards me for some reason or other. What is your problem? You know, she, she was a hater. She had a problem against me. I don't know what it was, but I would have liked to question her under a deposition and ask her about, you know, her financial record, what all she'd been arrested for. Once, once you answer one question, uh, under a deposition, if for some reason you say, uh, I don't want to answer that question, they'll lock you up for contempt of court. But this, this, Trayvon, this George Zimmerman, he needs to get another attorney. Uh, they, his, his mother has said that they're trying to turn it on to Trayvon, that Trayvon was an innocent boy. And they're trying to say it was Trayvon hollering for help. A black person is not going to holler for help the way George Zimmerman was doing it. And help, help. A black person is going to be going, man, don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hand on the nincompoop. Don't put your hands on the nincompoop. The nincompoop going to fuck up this white air cracker. I hope you motherfucker ain't ever I owed him a cracker. I hope you pick a white motherfucker racist. Why you racist? You racist. You racist. You racist. You racist. Uh, anyways, look, I, I, if I got more time, I'll tell you more. But I got to tell you a couple of things about me. I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin. He don't get no respect. I don't get no respect. I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a dude. So I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com. All it is is a recording of a girl. She'll say, hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? If we're alone together, I'll unzip your zipper. And I can't tell you everything she said, but it got my dingling excited. So I went to a uh, live service. She said my voice is too ugly for her to talk to. Then I need to generate some money. So I went to free buy, sell, trade, anything.com. I put a car on there. Once you put a, anything you got for sale on there that's legal, it'll keep reposting until you sell. It's free to look, free to put your ad. If anybody has any comments, criticism, or anything you want to say about my show, I appreciate it if you type it underneath. That's a wrap for the day.